Hello, I'm Latif Sharif with Rise Time, and the topic of this webcast is titled Using Blogs in SharePoint. Blogging is beneficial for many reasons that can help improve a business. Team members using SharePoint's blog features on their intranet can connect with others and start a dialogue far better than through any static website. Using SharePoint's blog capabilities for an intranet, team members and visitors can leave comments and participate in conversation about ideas pertaining to their team or projects, making the work far more interactive. Plus, it helps team members find all responses to a particular topic and feel as if they are part of the ongoing dialogue. SharePoint blogging features are rich and very useful. In this webcast, you will learn how to create a new blog site, manage permissions for a blog, and create a blog post and make comments. This is a collaboration portal within the Acme Company site. I want to create a new blog site to be part of this collaboration site. Creating a blog is very simple. Matter of fact, it's like creating a new subsite or another site within SharePoint. So to create a blog, click on Site Actions, which is right here in the corner. Then go to Create. Once the Create page is displayed, in the Web Pages category, click on Sites and Workspaces. The new SharePoint page for a new site will be displayed. Let's put in a name for our blog and call it Acme Blog. And let's put a description as well. And let's put in a URL. And from the template section, we want to make sure that our tab is selected to Collaboration. And we want to pick this template called Blog, which is this one right here. And then let's scroll down. As for user permissions, for now, let's just say have the same permissions from the parent site, from our collaboration portal site. And then we'll say yes to having the top blink bar from the parent site appear on our blog page. This would allow for easy navigation for our team members. Let's go ahead and hit create. And there it is. Our blog has been created. Now you can see that the center of this blog is occupied by sample posts. Most of the posts that people add to this blog will be shown here. On the top is our top link bar with links to other areas of our site. Remember that when we set up the blog we said yes to having the top link bar on this site. On the left is our quick launch bar and the links pertain specific to this blog. We have categories on the top. You can include links to other blogs right here and this Quick Launch Bar, just like any other Quick Launch Bar in your SharePoint sites, can also be customized. On the right here are the admin links. Admin links are useful for those team members that are contributors to this site. They can create a post, manage posts, manage comments, view all content, set blog permissions, or launch a blog program to post. So before we begin with the blog post, let's customize this site so that it looks visibly different than our regular portal. To do that, go to Site Actions, and then Site Settings, and then let's pick Site Theme from the Look and Feel section. Let's pick Obsidian. Okay, and then let's go back to our blog main site. So that definitely looks different from our portal site. So just so you can see the difference. And so this is the default theme of our portal. And this is the different site theme that we've chosen for the Acme blog. Let me show you how we can add relevant categories. From the categories section here, we see that by default, the blog site comes with three different categories named category 1, 2, and 3. Let's go ahead and change the names of these categories. The categories are simply lists that we can update or delete just like we would do with any other list item. So rather than delete category 1, 2, or 3, I'm going to modify their names. To do that, we simply have to click the edit button for each item and change the name. So let's call the first one 
product improvement. Click OK. And once we return to our blog site, we can see that the category names have been updated. There's one more thing I'd like to do before we begin the actual post. Let's make sure that all my team members have permission to add and contribute to this post. To do that, we go to Site Actions, then Site Settings, then click on People and Groups. I can see that most of my team members have automatically been added because this block follows the same permissions as the parent site. There is one other person I'd like to add. To do that, I click on New and then Add User. We pop open our address book to find our user. In this case, I'd like to add Dave Smith. And there he is. Let's go ahead and add Dave. Click OK. And then we'll also send Dave a welcome email so that he's aware that he's been added to this blog site. There, Dave is added. Now let's create a post. To do that, on the right side navigation, click Create a Post. I'm going to call this blog Aerodynamics. And for the body, I'll add. I think we need to have more aerodynamic cutting tools for energy efficient products. And we'll put that under design and innovation. And let's publish this. You'll notice that our blog post shows up at the top. Let's also delete the default post that was part of this blog site. To do that, click on Manage Posts, and then find the default post, and then delete it. Now let's return to our Acme blog site. Now that we've added a new blog, let's sign in as another user and add some comments to this blog. Let's sign in as Dave Smith. There. Now we're signed in as Dave Smith. Now that I've signed in as Dave Smith, I'm going to add comments to the post titled Aerodynamics. Let's go ahead and add comments. We can see, before we add comments, that this blog has zero comments. So we'll click on Comments, and I'll title this, Great Idea for Gas Mileage. And for the body, I will put, it is important and used in various automobile and other transportation fields like to hear what everyone else has to say. Submit comment. Now coming back to the actual post, we can see that this blog has one comment. In this presentation, you learned how to create a new blog site, manage permissions of a blog, create a blog post, and then make comments. For more information about RiseTime, please visit us at www.risetime.com or call us at 312-362-9930. And for more information on our training offerings, please email us at training at risetime.com. Thank you for joining us.